How's it going guys? Sanitary here. First video of 2016. Happy New Year to every, uh, everyone. Uh, sorry about this little glare, this crazy glare. The sun's coming at a weird angle and it's like I had to park at a different uh, spot. I'm actually at the parking lot. I just finished my first workout of 2016. Uh, it was a good uh, workout nonetheless. But anyway, I want to do this video to uh, let you guys and gals know uh, how my New Year's went. It was actually really, really quiet. I haven't been a big New Year's person even when I was younger. I mean, I've done all the partying, uh, drinking till you know, past midnight, all that stuff. But overall, I haven't been that big of a New Year's person. So I actually just uh, stayed in and with my uh, wife and then we just made a dinner which speaking of dinners um you probably can't see it because of the glare but i was cooking um a jerk chicken a recipe and actually turned out really really good hopefully i'll eventually post that and i basically put it in a cast iron in the oven and i took it out with my mitts and i put it on the counter and then i just had a damn brain fart and i'm sure this has happened to other people too but after i took it out of the oven the cast iron pot and i put it on the granite countertop with the mitts after that i had that brain fart and i freaking with my left hand i grabbed the top of the damn pot and it was a 425 degrees i think you know in my mind you know when you see a pot you just kind of just lift it up on the uh on the oven on the um stove top if you're cooking something and I just had that brain fart and I freaking put my hand there and all of a sudden I went ah and I freaking pulled it off and I have like a first or second degree burn um, you can't see it but it's like a little bit um, blistered but it's these first four fingers right here the tips of my left hand and I had a um, well I didn't ice it ice it's not re uh, icing is not recommended I put some uh, cold water and then I put this other uh, uh, little product I got from Walgreens so that was my uh, 2015. That's my 2015, how it ended. <laughs> not not that great. And then my wife, you know, she had like a freaking, almost like a migraine. So we were just kind of both hurting. Uh, no alcohol uh, uh, for 2015 or the end of 2015. So hopefully you guys had a better one. Now, as far as 2016 goes, uh, I want to know what your guys and gals' uh, specific goals are, if you have any. And to reflect back on 2015, as for me, on a personal level, uh, 2016, I just... Uh, in terms of health, just continue to be consistent with my uh, diet and exercise, and I'm off to a pretty pretty good start with my exercise at least. Uh, got my first workout in, and just to stay consistent to be healthy. And um, outside of that, like for my YouTube channel, I want to continue to produce good content, keep things kind of fresh. But also, uh, I wouldn't say I'm at a crossroads in my life, but I kind of feel like. There's just more to for me to give in terms of, you know, sharing my knowledge and stuff. And I've dabbled and thought about personal training, but I do have a full time job. It's not that I can't do it, and do, you know, maybe try a couple of couple of clients a week or something. But obviously, if I do the personal training, there's only so many hours in the day with my full time job. Um, uh, yeah, like I said, full-time job and then having to work out three times a week. And I'm sure it can be done. It just uh, depends on if I want to do it. The other thing that I've always wanted to do, and I've mentioned this briefly in the past, is um, I've always been, I've always wanted to do like my own um, or help another person with a body transformation. Uh, that's something that I've always or the past like year and a half I've been thinking about, but it's really, really hard to find someone because I, I have in mind a couple of potential clients or potential customers, whatever you want to call it, uh, but they have to be willing to do it. And a lot of people, for one, they don't want to be on camera and it's totally understandable. They're probably really self-conscious. Two, they don't want to have to show their body. Three, they don't want to document everything. And four, they probably feel a lot of pressure and that's rightfully so. I mean, if you're documenting everything, if I were to do a body transformation on someone else and they give up after four weeks, the entire experiment's just pretty much failed. Um, but that would be something that would be really, really great to um, do. So um, I don't know. I just feel like that is something that I've been wanting to do, but it remains to be seen. We'll see for 2016. Who knows? Maybe somebody will uh, step up to the plate and then I could document 
everything and do like a series on it. But anyway, uh, that's about it uh, for this uh, video. And if you notice, uh, the video is actually pretty, pretty still. It's not going like this all crazy. Uh, my coworker got me a selfie stick, so I'm actually using it. Now, I know they have some um, little holders that you put in the car, but the selfie stick, I'm holding it up against my uh, right thigh, and it's holding up pretty well, so uh, I like it. So thank you to my uh, coworker uh, who gave it to me for uh, New Year's. Uh, it was a pleasant surprise. But anyway, that's about it for this video. I uh, hope you guys had a really, really good New Year's. I hope you were safe. Let me know your uh, specific goals for 2016 and what steps are you going to take to get to those goals. That's it, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.